This is big. And small travel. We're in... Porto Venere. Avoid the crowds of Cinque Terre. Go beyond the very popular Cinque Terre and discover some of the other charming coastal villages of Liguria. Like Lurici, San Terenzo, Levanto, Bonasola, and Fremura. Liguria is in the northwestern part of Italy. Cinque Terre is often flooded with tourists all year round. But it is possible to find some peace and quiet very nearby. Stunning landscapes all to yourself. The alternative Cinque Terre. The hidden part of the Liguria coast. La Spezia was our home base, a perfect place to go between north and south. Coming from La Spezia, you don't even need to take a ferry. You can take a bus or train all year round. Sit back, enjoy the alternative Cinque Terre. Learn about the history. And of course the food. You have to try the very matzo. So unlike the Cinque Terre, where you actually have to pay to walk on the paths, this is completely free. There are plenty of places to hike with paths to yourself. You'll discover some interesting landscapes and tunnels. And if you're here during the holidays, don't forget some panettone and prosecco. Whoa, wow! Oh my god, if it hit, if it had hit, wow! So we use La Spezia as our home base. Why? La Spezia is great for getting around LaGuardia via bus and train. Now let's get going. We're on the bus on the way to Porta Venere from La Spezia. From La Spezia. We um, got bus tickets at the Tabacheria. Highly recommended. And uh, 250 euro one way for one person. We'll see you in Porta Venere. <laughs> Porta Venere. This is the town near Cinque Terre that's often overlooked. This town dates to the first century BC. Let's come and walk and go through the town. So it is um, very mild weather here. It's actually pretty nice. It's uh, probably about 60 degrees. So we are enjoying a very lovely winter day here in Porto Venere. Check out the grotto of Lord Byron, who was an English poet. This area is actually often called the Gulf of Poets because it was home to many Italian and English writers. We are now at Trattoria La Marina, right on the sea, and uh, I got something named after the town itself. It's black rice, octopus, tomatoes, and peanuts. A lot of octopus. And Big wants to know where you can get that sweater back there. <laughs> It's got a nice, tangy olive taste to it. I got trophy. Trophy is pasta from LaGuardia. And this pasta in particular, it's thin. And I got it with pulpo. Pulpo is octopus. 
Very good, very fine. The Roman origins are pretty clear, but the Gothic touches, which came later, are also really interesting to see. As you can see here in this church, we're approaching here in Port de Venere. just been wandering around the town. It's a really fun town to get lost in. Of course, it's super small, so you won't get lost. But we are heading down. Let's go. Andiamo. So from La Spezia, we took the bus to Lurici, 250 a person. And buses come every half hour. Very easy. and this is about a 20 minute bus ride from La Spezia and as you can see it's another beautiful coastal town. We're going to be walking along the Lungamare to the next town San Terenzo. Walking Laguaria, you have to try the local seafood. We especially love the dish popo con patate e olive. That's octopus, potatoes, and olives. We decided to hike up and go to the castle. We've reached the Castello de Larici. Now let's go on even more, so stairs to the top. The Lurishi castle dates to 1241, from the time of the Pisans, when they controlled this area, and later to the Genoese. They do have some information, but it's all in Italian, and our Italian is still slightly limited, so we can't really <laughs> tell you too much about this, but uh, we've got a nice view here. San Terenzo. As you see over here, this should be a walk that should take us no longer than 20, maybe to 30 minutes. <laughs> On the walk to San Terenzo from Lorici, we we're able to see just exactly how beautiful this part of the Liguria coast is. In San Terenzo, we found the most adorable dog. From La Spezia, we took the train to Levanto, about a 30 minute ride for just 260 euro. It was a very tranquil ride especially as soon as all of the passengers got off in Manarola. So unlike the Cinque Terre, where you actually have to pay to walk on the paths, this is completely free and you get beautiful coastal views like this. This is the official start, 22 minutes to Bonasola, which is two kilometers, and then from Mura, 70 minutes. Now we gotta get going. Okay, we're starting our day at La Dolce Vita. What could be better? 
having some coffee in Levanto before we head out on the path between the next three towns. So this pathway was actually the old railway line. So this was uh, started construction in uh, 1874. And uh, now there's a new railway line, of course, and they just paved this off for bicycles and pedestrians between the three towns here. Let's go. It's the middle of the day, so it's pretty dark. There are lights in here. One interesting fact, these tunnels were made in 1874 without the use of explosives. So they were manually done. These are small hills on the side of the coast here, but still, cool fact. Let's keep going. We recommend grabbing lunch or a snack at the halfway point in Vanasola. Now, if you come across a cat, they may not be very friendly. <laughs> Once you exit the tunnel arriving in Bonasola, you'll see that there's a turnoff with more hiking going above ground. one of the little hamlets. This is made up of five little hamlets. Um, and the first one is Anzo. So the last part of the walk, the last half is mostly tunnels, so it's not as nice. But um, we probably would recommend this more for bikes than walking. We are in Anzo, and this is about 10 minutes from the main bike pedestrian path that gets you to the base of Framura. So if you've done Cinque Terre already and are looking for another, more tranquil side of LaGuardia, we suggest checking out Porta Venere, Lurici, San Terenzo, Levanto, Bonasola, and Framora. That's our alternative Cinque Terre, or should I say, Se Terre, six towns. If you liked our videos, please subscribe to us. And don't forget to click the bell so you can find out when we've uploaded a new video. Thank you for watching. Grazie mille. Ciao.